Uh, so uh, bandwidth caps are, are how we make sure that elderly people mm. can use the internet. He also said that it was $45 a month that most people were paying for service, which uh, I don't know what year he pulled that from, but I think it was in the 90s. But I think this is the problem with some of these lovely people who are on the panel is that they know nothing about telecom and they've read a paper probably from 1995. <laughs> and it had a lot of word salad that, as Travis mentioned, that nobody could understand. So they just speak in circles so they think they're smart in that they say words, but they don't mean anything. And let's they, go back, Chris. What they is, accomplished why can't we what just... they wanted. They, the $45 was to plant that in Senator's head that that's the price. Yeah. They, well, they, you can they say exactly it. Exactly one. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Kim. No, no, no. But and like, what's wrong with unlimited bandwidth caps? Is like, so if we have unlimited, does limited make it like more cost effective is what they're trying to say for the um, older Industry would claim that if they had to provide unlimited service, the prices would go up. The reason they can keep their prices so low is because they make sure that they're not giving people too much of the product. Because, you know, if I use more Internet access, Comcast bill goes up substantially. I'm pretty sure that's how they said it works. So oh, I just wanted to ask Travis. And- Charter, yeah. Charter's at 90 and Comcast is at 92. How much more would they go up to, Travis? What's the magic number? 100! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>